Recite it with down feathers on. I love you. And write it, recite it with down feathers on. That mean that shit cold. And I'm the coldest. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the question and then I'm gonna explain why it's a question. So the question is, what is body positivity, and is it inherently hypocritical and counterproductive? Now the reason it's a question is because some men call it like one of the biggest lies women tell, because I can't call you fat, but you can call me short. Same thing. <laughs> I can't call you uh, fat, but you can say my dick is little. Same thing. So it seems like body positivity <laughs> is one-sided. So yeah, so again, what is body positivity and is it inherently hypocritical and counterproductive? <sighs> That's a good question. Okay, um, body positivity. I'm still forming my own definition of what body positivity is. I guess I'm still working through that. Um, I think, and I'm going to generalize for most people, it's, you know, it is a lie. I'm going to say because we have this whole, <laughs> I don't even know why people like die on this hill either, because we have social media and nobody is like what you see, but we'll get on there and somebody will post something. Oh my God, she looks gorgeous. And then, I don't know, it's just, I think we want to be that society where we say everybody's shape, everybody's size, everybody, you know, every little flaw you have per se it's, it's not even a flaw but because everything is so like scrutinized and we're so hypersensitive um to the point where we're even changing our own bodies we're all starting to look the same it's like we want to be inclusive to people who technically so even ourselves, who don't look like us, we we want to be we want to be somebody's body positive role model. Like we all want to, we want to perpetuate this whole thing of we love every we 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 just love everything. But it is um, double sided. It is it is a double sided street. It's it's double standard because. Yes, a woman can be fat and you can call her fat and it'll be like, wow. Body shaming. Yeah, you're body shaming her. But a man is short and you will be like, he's short. And it, it doesn't have the same effect, right? It's like, okay. But in reality, that's not even something he can change. Like when it comes to females and we're, when we, we speak on body shaming females, not that it's right, but a lot of times something we, we kind of could have control over. Being overweight, we can kind of have control over that, depending, you know, on other factors, of course, biological, etc. But being skinny, again, we can have sort of a control over that. But when it comes to men, like some of the examples that you named or pointed out, it's like things that people don't have control over. Yeah, we want to be this body positive society. And it's kind of to a detriment too, because it's, it doesn't, doesn't, it just doesn't work. Like it just doesn't, I think, it's, it's a detriment in the sense that it's making people, 
How do I want to put this? body positivity it's making people think that they can just do whatever or like be whatever way that they want to be and we have to be like yes girl yes boy like that's great body positivity i'm all for it like when amber when amber um forget her last name did her little slut walk and like when Amber Rose, when she used to do her slut walks in, um, I guess, empowering women and being body positive, like, sure, but why? <laughs> I have the same question about body positivity. Like, I have the same question because to me, it just, it, it, it is detrimental to society. In a sense, it is. So follow up question. What are your thoughts on Lizzo? On Lizzo? <sighs> I like Lizzo. I like Lizzo. I'm, I'm proud of her for being who she wants to be when when she wants to be that person like i'm fine with her shaking her ass being overweight or anything like i don't have a problem with lizzo i think society has a problem with thinking fat people need to lose weight or you know like people need to look a certain way so that they can do a certain things on social media or it's not acceptable you know it's like the same thing when black women wear dress fitted dresses but are curves strong and you're like why, are you, why would you wear that like I can't do anything about that I what do you want me to kind of in like a, a brown sack so Lizzo can have her fun she just is on the bigger side Whereas if you see Koi shaking and twerking, you won't really say much about it because she's a skinny girl. But I'm fine with Lizzo. I mean, in a body positive society, she's doing what she wants to do. We're all going. <laughs> I'm curious why she doesn't date fat niggas. She said that? I haven't seen the date of fat nigga. And I, I think that's some of guys' suspicions. Like, the body positivity stops with her. <laughs> but I don't want to embrace room and stutter. Yeah, I think she I dates, mean, like, athletes, like football players. We all have, just Just because I look a certain way doesn't mean I can't have a standard. Doesn't mean I can't have my attractions. You know, just because I'm this size. What if I wanted a chubby big man? Right? Maybe I'm comfortable with that. Maybe that makes me feel good. I have more fluff to hide, you know? Sure, but you're not pushing, um, you're not pushing this idea that this um, historically or typically unattractive physique should be considered attractive, but you don't give that same thing or you're not pushing for those same well, what, standards. What makes women. that unattractive? Like, no, because what I'm saying is like, yeah. if Lizzo is on the cover of Sports Illustrated, it's like, yeah, girl, do your thing. Mm -hmm. But is Lizzo fighting for a fat guy to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated? That's what. That's where the hypocritical conversation is coming from. Because it doesn't seem like that's the case. Like, yeah, guy, you should have a six pack and pecs and everything. But a girl is beautiful at any size. Again, I think I remember that one time when Rihanna, was it Rihanna? She had this chubby guy, kind of big set model, um, some Fenty boxers and stuff for her. And I think Twitter went like crazy. Like, oh my God, she is so like sexy. Like he's so beautiful and stuff. I think, I think it's preference. I don't necessarily 
I don't think I see it the way you see it. I feel like we like who we like. I feel like we want to see what we want to see. We definitely want to see representation of all kinds of men and women on covers of everything. I just think it's, again, society in general gravitates towards a certain look. Um, but with Lizzo, I wasn't aware that she only dates a certain type. Or I guess that's not confirmed. I, I, just... I, I think, I mean, I would think she would um, you know, I would think she she's um a go for men who look like her to be um liked too or seen also. I don't see it. You don't see it. Yeah, because I guess most guys' problem with body positivity and the whole hypocritical piece is like. It's almost like a, if you don't think I'm attractive, mm -hmm. right, you are a body shamer. Mm -hmm. So like, if you don't think Lizzo is attractive, you're a body shamer. Mm -hmm. But Lizzo can think whoever is attractive and she can have whatever standard she has. But if a man has that same standard and it's imposed on her in a way that she doesn't qualify, then he's a bigot. He's a this. He's a that. He's a that. But men don't get that same no, latitude. I think a lot of times, I think we're just kind of tired of men because women do change a lot for men. I think we're kind of just over it. And again, hypersensitive because it doesn't, and I've seen it, does, a guy doesn't even say the wrong thing. Maybe Lizzo isn't even his preference since we're talking about Lizzo. But in general, he has a, a body type where he has a preference and it's a bad thing but I can have a preference it's just that's who she likes you know and again that's just how society that's that's just how that's the construct that we've made for ourselves and now we live in it and now it's 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 shaming we, even though it's not because men and women have had their preferences over centuries, but I think women are more so pleasing. So we will go out that it'll, it'll take more of a, like, and I, I, cause I'm a woman, I can't speak for men, but it, it hurts us more or we, we pay attention to it more when a guy says something We we are more likely to go change that about ourselves. Maybe we already had an insecurity about it. Now somebody, some guy has said something to us and now we, we want to go change that. Whereas for men, and in my opinion, it's like a lot of them don't care. A lot of them are comfortable in their bodies already. And they just have this ego about it. It's like, I like myself the way I am. So even if you come and say something about it, and I'm sure some people are sensitive, some men are sensitive about different aspects of the body and because we, we all have insecurities, but they're not more so going to, you know, the, the extent of women going with the knives to change certain parts of them. So it's like stay out of women's business because we deal with it anyway, whether you like it or not, we're dealing with it. So stay out of our business. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, that is it's crazy because some some like I think some things right about certain body shapes and certain body sizes, but then if I were to say that it'll be body shaming, and I'm just like, no, it's not body shaming, but you could you know do something about that. That'll make even you feel more positive about yourself. But it's this world now; we can't share our opinions. 